Hi guys, welcome to this quick review of this OYS telescope. The model type is 70AC and it's listed on Amazon for only $89 and has pretty good reviews. And because it's really difficult to find something really good below $100, I thought I give it a try and there's a huge amount of things which you get for this basically $90 it's a huge box and you get also this nice backpack with all the pockets where you can store everything by the way it came everything single uh, bubble wrapped in the backpack so everything is well protected and there was absolutely no damage you can see it came everything with this nice uh, bubble wrap and uh, here we have it. It comes even with a tripod. Here's the main thing. This is really huge. And as we know, uh, size matters. And especially when it comes to telephoto uh, lenses or tele lenses, then that's definitely also the case. It comes also with a warning. That's really, really important. Whoever is watching this, never, never look into the sun with this thing. Don't go even close to the thing. Uh, better concentrate uh, to a horizontal thing or maybe even use it uh, just during the night. So it's really important that if children are using that, that always uh, older people or like parents are around to monitor what they are doing. So here you can see what we get. We get the viewfinder, we get this mount for the smartphone, the normal finder and we get two different eyepieces by the way. The magnification is depending on the eyepiece it's 20 or 44 times so it's not a zoom and as we all know as a rule of thumb a zoom always leads to compromised quality so it's much better to have like just two pieces with 20 and 44 times magnification and it also comes with a really good instructions manual i'm going to show you that pretty quickly uh, there's not much just 12 pages and i'm going to show you the full manual as always so this could help you to make a better buy decision or if you bought used or you just lost the instructions you can see for everything there's a nice picture so it's super easy to mount and use i think even 10 years old uh, could easily do that uh, it, it's it's fantastic it's it's really good it, it is as good as it can be for an instruction manual so i think for the tripod there's not much explanation needed i think most of the people know how to use that what i find really good is it that it has this snap lock here this is usually much easier and faster than the things which where you have to rotate and secure it it also comes with uh, nice soft rubber feet so you don't have to be worried about your tile floor so here's the first thing which we have to attach and you can see how easy this go. It's already done here. Then we have to attach the prism. So we are just removing this uh, dummy part here. Now the next thing is the prism. So you have to make sure that these screws are uh, loose and now you can tighten them to secure the prism in place. Now next piece is the viewfinder. We need these two pieces. We have to put this through here and then secure with these screws. And then we remove these two screws here. We just put this viewfinder on top here and secure it again with these nuts. And now we are actually almost ready. We just have to add now the eyepiece or the mobile phone holder depending on our needs. So I'm starting with the K9 or 9 millimeter. So I'm adding this here. Uh, yeah, I have to loosen the screw a little bit, add this here and then secure it. The very last thing is to remove all the lids, lid here, lid here as well. And so we are ready to use. And the really nice thing is that it only used around five minutes to do the whole thing. And now you can go out and search for the things you want to see closer. By the way, this is the focus wheel here, which you need to adjust, of course, depending on the viewing range. So I've been spending about one hour outside trying to get some results for you. 
and there is some bad things and also some good things. So, so at the beginning I was a little bit struggling with the viewfinder and you can see why we have three screws and you really have to make sure that it's straight. I was usually a little bit out of focus. You can see it's it, it can move around so you really have to adjust this with the screws to make it fully aligned with the major telescope otherwise uh, it won't work, you, won't, you can't find anything here. But in general it works. Then regarding the eyepieces, I mean I've been trying to use the mobile phone holder here instead of the uh, eyepiece and it hasn't been working at all. So first thing, uh, it is rather designed for smaller phones. I mean you can widen that but it can be a little bit of a struggle, you can see there's no much, uh, there's not much space here. The brackets are rather thin. So if you have really large, thick phone, it can be difficult. I had an older phone which was working into here and I've been able to nicely secure and then adjust the angle for the uh, camera of the phone. And I was pretty sure that I've been matching the hole but no matter what I did, uh, it was never focusing. So I have no clue what I did wrong or what went wrong. I mean, it's a really old phone and it is a little bit a struggle. It needs some time till you have your phone here, but I've managed to do that and you can really do that. You can put your phone unless it's like an eight inch phone or so, but usually it should be possible to put it here and align it. Uh, but for me, I have never got uh, any kind of focus, not even close. So I tried first with the 20 millimeter, and that worked really, really good. I mean, it really didn't uh, take much time to adjust the focus and then it's possible to get a really super sharp, super clear image. I can tell you, yeah, I was a little bit fearing that this is more like a toy, but at the end with the 20 millimeter, I got a really, really nice clear image. And then I was even trying with the nine millimeters. I mean, this is the 20 times zoom. And I tried to go with the nine millimeters to have 44 times zoom. And then uh, it narrowed down the view even more. And it was a little bit difficult to find something, but finally I found it and it was definitely uh, closer so it's not just like a gimmick or so it is definitely uh, magnifying even more and it, it was amazing so I'm going to the computer now and I'm going to uh, show you a couple of pictures so you get an idea what you can expect so here we have the situation how it was in the backyard uh, the distance here the palm tree with this camera was about 13 yards 13 meters away so I try tend to get my best picture or best image with my mobile phone I mean it's not the best mobile phone but at least it's an LG phone and I mean it was one of the best phones about six or seven years ago but at least that and that's the maximum which I got when we go even a little bit closer you can see what to expect from this camera you can't read the writing I mean the brand name of the camera and there's there's not much visible so when we go to the next image you can see about what you can expect uh, from this telescope and I can tell you it's even better this uh, image because I haven't been able to use the phone mount I have been just shooting by hand through the eyepiece normal eyepiece and you can imagine that it was super super difficult to get uh, any kind of image and uh, here you can see about how close you can get but the difference is what I got real when I was looking with my real eyes everything like this was super sharp here it's a little bit washed out it's rather blurred of course but you can, still can see it, it it's much much better but but it was just by holding the phone in my hand and making the image through the IP so, so it's nothing compared to what you really can see but you you get the idea how much better this is than just with a normal phone. I mean, this is a, a huge difference compared to that. And that's only the 20 millimeter, I mean, 20 times zoom. When you uh, use the nine millimeter, the 44 times zoom, then it's even uh, larger and you can definitely see everything. I, I can tell you, this is nothing compared to uh, what you can see with your real eyes. Unfortunately, there's not more I can show you here. 
that's just the image uh, before going close to the IP so you get an idea what I did I was just trying to match the center of the eyepiece but uh, without any indication it, it, it was really super hard so but you get the idea how it is and I can tell you yeah it's uh, actually much better than what I've been expecting uh, as long as you're using 20 millimeter the 20 times zoom uh, it's definitely perfect it's hard to imagine that you get anything better than that for uh, this low price uh, for the nine millimeters you have to really uh, i would su suggest you're using the 20 millimeters first and align the telescope and then uh, replace the eyepiece to the nine millimeters so you can even have a larger zoom otherwise when you start with nine millimeters it can be really difficult to find something but apart from that yeah i'm really happy with that it's surprisingly good and here's the listing and i'll put down the link to this listing uh, down into the description so you can check it out or you drive from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time